Welcome to Pardon That Vibe. My name is Chris Riccobono, and this is the world's most unbiased wine review forum. And I am here in Franschhoek, which is uh, in the South African uh, winelands. And uh, it's extremely windy out here, but I wanted you to get a, get a feel for these beautiful mountains that are in the background. I'd say that that is the major difference between uh, South Africa and, and Napa Valley, which a lot of you are used to. They have these beautiful, cold mountain ranges. Um, let me just show them the right side as I continue to speak. Today I went to Buchenhausklof, which is tough to, pr tough to pronounce. And uh, it's one of the uh, best wineries out here in South Africa. Robert Parker thinks it's, uh, actually has said that it's the best winery in South Africa. And Wine Spectator once again gave one of their wines the highest rating this year. Today we went to the winery and we're very lucky today. We're tasting two wines. Um, the first wine I'm tasting is the Chocolate Block. It's about $22 American uh, retail. If, it, if this comes across loud, I'm yelling because of all this wind. But uh, this is a blend of about five grapes. It's, it's mostly Syrah. It's only $21 or $22. It's a big hit in, uh, in South Africa because it's a tremendous value wine. Uh, let's give it a try here. They do um, export this to other countries, and including the United States. We are at the Hotel Mount Rochelle, beautiful place up in the wine country, right near Stellenbosch, which is a very known area. Beautiful nose, tons of blackberries, tons of dark fruit. I'm blown away by this wine. I was just having a conversation with with uh, the people at the winery. Um, it's a great wine, though, for twenty dollars. It's tough to find a value like this in uh, Napa in uh, Napa Valley or in any uh, California, you know, wine region. But it's a very nice wine. It has a nice finish. It has some nice, parable fruits on the mid palate. It's nice. If you want to try a South African wine, people, all people do is talk about the chocolate block out here. $20, $21. Um, it's, a, it's a very nice wine. This is the 05. They have the 07 out now, and, or 08 out now. And it's a very nice wine. I'm telling you, you'll, you'll be very impressed compared to some of the blends that, they, that you're probably used to. Now this is what I'm very excited about. We went to the winery and I, was very, I really wanted to try the Journeyman. It's primarily Cabernet Franc. It got a 94 in Wine Spectator. It was the number one rated wine from South Africa. And uh, they do not taste the journeyman ever at the wine tasting. It's uh, about 270 cases that they go to their top clients. So uh, when I told him that I really wanted to film a show, he brought me out an unlabeled bottle uh, of the 2007. Mark Kent, the winemaker, didn't even make it in 2006 because he'll only make it if it's uh, top notch. So uh, we got very lucky. He let me take the wine bottle with me. And I'm very excited to... Oh, oh boy! Wow. Almost <laughs> almost lost some of this magic. Wow, that's the wind here and the clumpiness. He's laughing hard. You probably hear her again. She's laughed on every video. But I have to grant her that since it's her honeymoon. This is the Cabernet. It's primarily Cabernet Franc. They're actually making some great Cabernet Francs out here in South Africa. beautiful nose. It's actually tons of fruit, but it's also kind of got that, you know, that earthy, those earthy tones, that soil, a little bit of tobacco, tons of blackberries. It's a beautiful wine. This is a 2007, keep in mind. And it's still drinking well. It's got beautiful tannins that integrate perfectly towards the end of the mid palate. You can tell this wine's going to last for 10 to 15 years, but it's still drinking beautifully today. It's soft, it's elegant, it's complex. This is a great wine, the Journeyman. I think you're going to have a tough time trying this, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed uh, us tasting it because as you can see, this is a very special event. They do not taste this wine uh, at the wine tasting. Anyway, with that, Buchenhau, Buchenhausklof. A uh, very reputable winery in in, uh, in, in uh, South Africa. I'm sure you'll find the wines all over. They make a Syrah, Cabernet, they make some other wines on their different label. Anyway, with that, it's extremely windy here. 
Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Amy, just show them these beautiful mountain ranges over here. You might have to stand up because they're around the building. <laughs> um, that's the difference between here and Napa Valley. They're uh, they're really really nice, and occasionally baboons come out from them and uh, eat the the grapes.